First of all, we're going to do James's deer. Unfortunately, although we had to take it front of the chest, we had a little bit of gut damage, but nothing that's affected the meat. We're going to start at the haunches and work our way down. First, we're going to pull the corner of its skin and cut down towards the inside of its groin area. Working our way into its groin. And there's its milk sack. Slight cut through groin because we're going to break this animal all the way down. Very gently work our way over the legs. Careful not to catch the meat. James is going to keep the skin, so I haven't taken its backside out, so I can keep the integrity of the whole animal. Working our way down the inside of the leg again, just to open it up. over towards its backside. I'm just going to move around to the back. Carefully not to cut through its hock because that's what's holding the animal up. And as I skin, I'm just pulling the skin away from the meat and letting my knife do as much work as possible. bottom. There we go. Just exposing its bottom. Then we have one nice clean leg. Our skin so far with no holes in it. Now we're going to do exactly the same on the left hand leg, working our way into the groin and round the leg again. Again pull and cut. Being careful not to cut the meat again, going down the inside of the shin bone. into its groin and obviously its milk sack. Up to the top again, carefully not to cut the hock that's holding it up. Through its groin, there we go, lovely. Pulling the skin away from the meat as I go. Very fortunate I can swap hands with my knife and skin with the other hand. Working my way round. over the top again, pulling the skin and letting my knife do all the work. We come around its backside again.
there again we have two haunches nicely skinned. We're now going to skin from the breast around the back being very careful that we keep the flank meat just here off the skin and on the carcass. So we're going to start halfway down gently just opening it up Go. Because James wishes to keep this skin and tan it himself, the more meat I leave on the skin, the harder it is for him to tan it. So I'm going to do my very best to keep as much meat off and on the carcass. Just gently taking the meat away, not rushing. Just concentrating. There we go. Nice and clean. As you can see, the flank meat is just starting to run out. And we're moving into the loin meat. As we move to the bottom of this shoulder, I expect to see quite a bit of damage. And a lot of hydraulic shock. Because I'm looking to keep this skin intact, this is the part I have to be very careful of. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to stop there, go back and do this side, and then start again afresh at the bottom. Okay, same principle again, we're going to take the skin away from the flank meat, being very careful, pulling the meat away. You see here, we've, we, the skin is very close to the meat here. Sometimes it's unavoidable. We're just going to have to make an incision, commit, commit to doing it. There we are. There's the flank meat. That's what I'm looking for, that piece of flank. Work our way up. There it is again. This is what I want to keep off the skin and back on the carcass. There we go, we're back into it. Pardon me. Nice and gently. Here we go. Let's move our way down. Secret to this is having a sharp knife. And the other key feature to skinning knife is something with a curved blade. Working 
working away nicely. The flank's starting to go to disappear. Get the flank meat's running away again. There we go. Down to the bottom. I'm just going to get down. Shoulders fully intact. There we go. Come through there. Both sides all done. Moving on down to the feet, we're going to remove the feet, bending it, and we should find the joint fairly easily. There we go, there's one joint. Another door handle for James. Okay. Just bending the leg up to about 90 degrees. Cut, cut, just cut all the way around, and you should be, the joint is just there. Just in there we have all the tendons, that's what's holding the leg on. There's the main tendon, just cut through that, leg peels back and comes away. We're now going to cut down his legs. So all I'm going to do is, there's its elbow. I'm just going to gently cut through here to its elbow. There's an elbow. I'm just going to cut straight down its shin. Peeling it back. A lot of this you can do with your fingers. Especially if it's fresh like this is. Come over the top. This is probably the hardest part of skinning the animal. Just a little bit awkward. But again, taking your time comes away. Under we go. This she wants to come off. There we are. Come over the top again, I'm going to go underneath. There's where the bullet strike came in. That's as far as I'm going to go on that side. Second leg, and like I say, being able to swap from hand to hand makes a big difference. And again, I'm looking for, there's, there's its, its elbow. 
cuts through. There's its elbow, just there. I'll just come step round this side just to cut down. Nice and steady and gently. Now this way again. Follow this under. Under its leg. We should come out at the bottom there. We do. There we go, we'll stop there. Now I'm going to remove his head, pull his ears forward, her should I say, the atlas joint is just at the back of the ears. Cut all the way through and round. We're going to go all the way around to a jaw. where our atlas joint is, just under there. Make sure I've cut all the way around, I have. Put my knife down and it should just turn off. There you go, just like that. Little bit of meat holding it on, one head removed. Nice okay, one. now we're gonna remove the majority of the skin. I'm just gonna skin around the haunches towards the tail. This doe's got a little bit of fat on her. She's obviously in very good condition. Same this side. Bring it around to the tail. Find a joint. There's one just there. And we're through. Passing my knife to James for a second. I'm just going to hold this skin and pull it down. Now I'm going to skin straight over on one side. I'm going to go from this side and take the skin over its neck, keeping it all intact. Nice and gently, because I'm trying to keep this skin from having any nicks in it. If I just step over this side, James, you can come around that side. You, out, thank you. Here we go, and over the top of the neck. Coming down the side of his neck. There we have one full row skin, no holes, ready for James to mount. <laughs>